I felt that the procedures that we were applying remind me a lot of what we do in EVA. The way we had a com continuous open communication. We are wearing a suit of sorts with, uh, with equipment that is attached to it. And we use that equipment to save ourselves to the structure so that we, we don't get lost in space or uh, uh, lost in the ground. The cave uh, is really complicated, it's three-dimensional and each uh, segment is uh, part of uh, an old story that you have in some way to read. When you start to read this story, you start to, to understand where uh, there could be the, the most interesting rooms, uh, branches uh, and also from where the water was coming, from where the water is coming now which could be, have been different and actually how you can go deeper and deeper inside the mountains uh, maybe until to cross the mountains and come out somewhere uh, to the other side. What, what looks like a, a little waste of time because you're moving around in, in a, in a yeah. squeeze and trying to find your orientation, in reality, makes, it, makes the operation possible. the same on the station where um, a job that, that is impossible in one orientation becomes incredibly easy, easy. Or, or possible at all just by, by changing orientation. Yeah, nice. All at once, everything disappears in the darkness, and all you have is the flat area where you're at, but you lose the sense of space. You feel it, you sense it, you know you're not in open space, but you, you lose that sense of three dimensional because you don't see it.
difficult terrain will be one of the major obstacles uh, in exploration on a different planet. And so I, I think that what, what we did today, for me, uh, was a, a different kind of EVA extravehicular activity. I would, I would imagine that a future explorer that is performing an EVA on the surface of a different planet will be doing something closely resembling what we did today.